Hi, I'm Clyde, and welcome to Basic Works. And today, we're gonna demystify this whole LED replacing the fluorescent tubes. Let's start with type A and type B LEDs. Type A just means you're gonna let the ballast in. Type B, you're gonna remove the ballast and bypass it. I recommend removing it because this ballast is nothing but a boat anchor. If you let the ballast in there, it's just consuming energy and producing heat. You remove the ballast, you'll probably get at least 50% or more energy savings. At some point, that ballast is gonna fail and you're gonna end up taking it out anyway. Just get rid of it right from the beginning. Another thing you need to know choosing these LEDs, single-ended versus dual-ended. Single-ended, you're just gonna power the hot and the neutral wires right to one end of the LED tube. Dual-ended means you're gonna put your hot wires on one side of your LED tube and your neutrals on the other side of your LED tube. Shunted tombstones versus non-shunted tombstones. The shunted tombstone just means the two halves of that are shorted together. That tombstone is the end connector where you plug the bulb into. Let's talk a little bit about K scale here. That's the Kelvin rating of the lamp. That's just basically what color the light is. You can get the LED tubes that they're clear glass or frosted glass. I found these LED tubes. They work with single-ended or dual-ended, shunted or non-shunted. Any of the applications you're gonna run into, these tubes will work with it. And the links to these tubes are in the description below. All right, that's the basics of it. This job is gonna be really simple, basic hand tools, and it's probably gonna take maybe a half hour per light fixture. Let's do it. Here's what we've got when we removed this cover that was going over the ballast and the wire. So these run to this end of the ballast, powering up the ballast. And then we've got the two red wires here, two blue wires here, and we have two yellow wires which run to the tombstones on the other end of the light fixture. First thing we're gonna do is get the breaker turned off. Now we're gonna disconnect the hot and the neutral from the ballast. Now time to get the ballast out of here once we have it disconnected from the power. So it has a screw in one end of it and then it slides into a piece of metal on the other side. So we're gonna take that screw out and slide the ballast right out of the fixture. Next, we're gonna take a pair of wire cutters and we're just gonna cut these wires off. Two yellow wires are running to the tombstones on this end and then there are smaller blue wires jumpering the one tombstone over to the other one. As you can see, there's not enough wire to get to this white wire and I want the neutral to be on these. So from the ballast, I cut a piece of white wire. I'm just gonna use that as a jumper. And that will be my neutral wire then running to the two yellows to the tombstones at that end. The next step is to get my hot wire hooked onto these. This hot wire goes to all four of these wires. I could just jumper these. Let's get this screw out of here and slide this right out of this notch in the metal. Now, I don't need all of these wires going to wire nuts. Jumper these over to the red terminals. These are just plug-in connectors. I'm going to take this red wire now, shorten it up some. We're going to slide this back into the metal notch it goes in, get this screw. I tied my two red ones onto this black wire, which I'll use now to tie into the main power.
We have power going to all four of these because the two reds are here and the blues are jumpered over to the reds. And we've got our neutral going to this end because the yellows run to the tombstones on that end. Okay, now we're gonna put this cover back on, which covers the wiring. So we're gonna put it into the tabs on one side. are going to push into here. It just basically clips on two tabs on this side and two tabs on this side. Okay, so there we go. We're gonna put that in. We're gonna just rotate that till we feel it clip into the electrical connections on both ends. And you can see my LED strip is on a bit of a 45 because my tombstones are on 45, but this reflector is gonna take care of that. We're gonna put this warning label on the side just so anybody in the future knows, don't use a fluorescent tube. Stick that onto the frame just for future reference. Got the lenses installed, all the lights, everything's working fine. These are so much brighter and so much nicer than the old fluorescent ones. Here it is.